others. We warn you of this challenge. Only attempt it if you have done the following. 1. You have not acquired Object 16, for the wolves hate the cats with a passion. 2. You have acquired the object from the holder of loyalty. Failure to meet these requirements will result in an end best left undescribed. In any village in Africa, go to any old wise man or shaman you can find. Bring with you the object of the holder of loyalty. You will need her. Demand to be shown the ways of the old wolves. He will turn and enter his tent. If he does not, then we the wolves have deemed you unworthy, soon to be slaughtered and subside our hunger for all eternity. Should the old wise man go into his tent, he will return with two other men. They will both be Indians and dressed in their traditional garb. This time, in a sturdy voice, demand to be told the story of the wolf's fall from greatness. At that second, the shaman that once bore semblance to an old, fragile man will transform into a younger, more muscular version of himself. He will quickly draw his knife and slice you across the torso with it. Blood will begin to pour like a waterfall from your opened chest, and you will begin to descend through the earth. As you fall, you will pass through the earth into hell. Here your fate will be made clear. If you have been kind, considerate, and overall friendly to loyalty's pet, she will guide you through hell to the spirit world where we the wolves reside. If you have been cruel to her, she will leave you to your fate in hell. Once you enter our realm, the creatures will astonish you. There will be a kind of species of wolf the world has never seen since the days of the old. You may talk to them, for they will speak your language. Do not fret, for no harm will bestow you in this realm. You might even meet other seekers who have chosen to stay in this world. But if you are determined, then follow the holder of loyalty's pet. She will bring you to our king, a gargantuan three-headed Cerberus. All of us wolves will bow to him, as should you. If you do not, he will simply force you out of our domain into hell. After you are done bowing, he will ask you to state your business and why you are in his realm. Tell him you wish to hear about the wolves' fall. He will tell you about how they have always hated him and how they conspired to kill him. They will tell you how they enlisted the cat's help only to be betrayed by them, and how he finally locked them in this realm, and how they feel about being separated by their other, weaker wolves, who now walk the earth howling to the moon, trying to convince him to let us go. He will tell you about how he let their worshippers be turned into slaves. When the stories end, all six eyes will look as though flames are ready to shoot out of them. Tell him you wish to help the wolves back to greatness. He will tell you they will only follow the Chosen One. Show the Lord Wolf anything from the Bride Mansion, and all of the heads will smile. He will lower himself and tell you two things, and teach you one. The first will be that of a person you will need to seek out. One who will show you how to transform into a wolf. With that, he will teach you the way of the wolves. You will be able to understand any of the wolf species. The second thing he will tell you is the most important thing that you will need to remember. Trust for that is Object 450 of 538. 
When the objects are all brought together and the end is near, call upon our clan of the wolves to help you overthrow and destroy him. You are now one of us. Do not betray our trust on pain of death. You will wake up in your house with loyalty's pet next to you. You will now be able to understand her. She will smile at you and tell you her name. It would be wise to tell her your name too. You may not know the importance yet, but it will soon become clear.